Get you, bitch! Yo, what's going on, everybody? Hoxon here, and today we will be discussing my top five most hated fairy tale characters. Now, remember, this video is strictly opinion based. This is my top five most hated fairy tale characters. If you're five top five, then on here, then I'm sorry. Please don't hate me because of this. But let's get straight into this video. Coming in at number five is Future Rogue. Even though Future Rogue would be in my top five most coolest fairy tale character designs, he has done some pretty messed up things to get on this list. One of the worst things he has done was kill Future Lucy in front of all her friends. She was finally starting to crack a smile after everything that's happened to her in her timeline, just so he can get the dragons out of the uh, the future world and bring it into the uh, guest past world. I guess that's what it was called. And only reason he is on this list is because he killed Lucy. <coughs> <coughs> My bae. <laughs> Also, he killed every single fairy tale character there is in the series in the future. You know what that means? That that means everybody died because of him. He literally killed everybody. If that's not a reason to get on this list, I really don't know what another reason would be. Coming in at number four is Midnight. This list seems to you know consist of a lot of uh, everybody harming my Bay Lucy. But it's true. I mean, everybody harms her. I'm sorry, but it's true. But um, this uh, Midnight was on quote unquote leader of the Russian Six Sace. Ah, Sace. I don't mind this character at all, really. But what really made him hate, what really made me hate him, is during the arc when he formed the Neon Russian Six, and he really he basically made a fake sister for Lucy. Just to draw it in the last clock piece, where it hurt the most is that in her mind, she basically had a sister finally. You know, she had a sister to, uh, I guess, love, and you know, her father really didn't love her like she wanted him to. And so, I mean, that's really pretty messed up. And including that, you know, this, t like, I guess, arc was very similar to, you know, Chain of Memories and Kingdom Hearts, where Sora, his, his memory was clouded and he got fake memory put in inside of his mind because of nominated but nominated was forced to do it but you know midnight i guess he wasn't forced to do it he just did it because he's fucking evil but anyway that's really the reason why he's on his list is because he made a fake sister and didn't really cr he just crushed her dreams and said she was just a doll uh, a figment of her imagination he just created so he can draw in the last clock piece to finally get what he deserves and that, that's really it why he's on his list. Not really much to say about me. Because I really like this character. I really did. Uh, but anyway, coming in at number three is Loxus. He's on his list for the things he's going become, to become the guild master, what he did. And uh, I guess I think that was. Uh, I, think that, I think that was still considered the first season. Yeah, it was still considered the first season. He believed the whole guild was weak. And. Every, he just heard everybody laughing at Fairy Tale saying, oh, Fairy Tale is weak. He believed Fairy Tale was weak. So he decided to pit everybody against each other in a battle royale just to pick out the weaklings just so he can recreate the guild and his own image and the strong image that he wanted it to be. He even risked his grandfather's life just to achieve his goal. And that's not the only reason why he's on this list, just because he paid all his friends, the guild members against each other, almost killed some of them. I don't think none of them died, they were just seriously injured. But what really put this on the list is also because he tried to destroy the whole city at that. He just completely lost his mind and just... I guess he just believed that, you know, he the goal wasn't being achieved and that was his trump card to destroy the whole city and he's recreated it in his own image. And even though he had a, a new leaf turn, or like a new leaf in like the later fairy tale series, but that still doesn't give him the right to escape this list. So he, he's, he's remaining on this list. Coming in at number two is Gemma. Oh my god, I I literally despise this guy. I hate him so much. He's probably one of the biggest assholes in the fairy tale series. His ideals and ways of running a guild is the worst. He believes in having no mercy for his opponents, only as people for their strengths, and not for what they truly are. This is the reason why not to bust it in there just to just to kick his ass basically and he disowned his he even owned his own daughter Minerva because she wasn't strong enough 
and she was weak at her age. I think she was like around the age of probably less than 10 years old, probably. And she still hated her and disowned her because she was strong enough. And he forced Yukino to strip down naked in front of all her girlfriends. And that was probably mo one of the most humiliating things to happen in Fairy Tale. And also, he killed, well, not really Kid because he came back like, but he even vaporized Lecter and brought him to another dimension, acting like he killed Lecter in front of Sting. And then probably one of the most feel good moments in Fairy Tale happened when Sting killed him. And that was that was the end of it. I was just so happy. I was I was for joy that, that you know Sting killed him. And that's and his his reign, even though it was very short, he quickly became one of the most hated fairy tale characters in the fairy tale series. Coming in at number one, I noticed a bit of surprise. I noticed this is not like a single person. But, you know, they have too many people in this group to even pick out a single person to hate. So, coming at number one is Twilight Ogre. Oh, uh, I don't even know where to begin, honestly. Um, you know, everybody in this guild are a bunch of assholes. They have tortured fairy tale for years and years and years. And this guild is mainly known for... Because Gaj, this was originally Gaj Joe's original guild, and he hated Fairy Tale. Honestly, he he just hated the way that you know Fairy Tale killed themselves, you know. And what basically started the hate is when they started the war, the War of Magnolia. I, I call it the War of Magnolia, but um, they destroyed the Fairy Tale guild, and that was like probably one of the most worst things you can do. That, that was basically everyone's home. They they depended on that guild. That was the only place that they had to go, really. Or else they had to live on a street and, and cry and beg for money. I know they didn't want to do that, but they had to. And, um, you know, not to, not to of course, kick their ass. Everybody kicked their ass. And, and they were gone for quite a while. Until they finally made their return. Uh, after um, the deal on the island, where they dis where not two in the gang disappeared for about seven years. Twilight Ogre made their return. They had tortured and tortured Fairy Tail for about seven years. Seven long years. They were made fun of. They were kicked around. Money was stolen from them. Hell, even their own guild members jumped ship to other guilds because they were being just, just annihilated by Twilight Ogre. And when not when the gang finally returned, it was like a, a, a deep shadow just just you know just came from off their shoulders, and it was just a happy moment. Because even though they didn't really show all seven years of torture from that fairy tale suffered from Ty Ogre, you can still feel the pain and, and anguish and the anger that fairy tale felt because of what Twilight Ogre was doing to him. Even even though it was just for that one episode, you just you just saw how much pain they suffered, and you just wanted Twilight Ogre to just vanish for good. And that's what happened when Natsumi came back. They came back, they kicked their ass, they, they, they showed it, they gave them a taste of their own medicine, destroyed their guild, and Twilight Ogre has yet to be heard of ever since, and I think they're gonna be heard from ever since we're literally at the end of fairy tale. So, so basically, yeah. Uh, thank you all for watching this top 5 video, leave in the comment section below on what are you guys, on your guys' top 5 uh, fa most hated fairy tale characters. Leave a like. Subscribe if you're new to stay updated with my videos, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye.